What is the most bullshit profession that actually exists? Pet communicator yes we have these in my country, and there's this famous internet joke. Communicator your pet wants to be pet more often. Owner he is a fish. Edit I'm surprised that lots of places actually have this, and many people are buying it instead of doing their homework facepalm. Anyone who says they have an investing strategy 100 makes money from selling this bullshit, and couldn't make money investing in a million years. Televangelists Anyone who sells MLM garbage. No, I don't want to buy your average at best makeup. Whatever the person who's in charge of making the malware and annoying redirect ads is called. Psychic. Cleaning up the pens at a rodeo. Once worked at a company where they had social media officers, whose jobs were to go through Instagram and like and comment on photos of hot people. They earn more than I did no idea how. Ticket broker and console broker. AKA ticket scalper and console scalper. Add no value to the transaction, just needlessly insert themselves to profit. Fuck em. Life coaches, especially the ones in their 20s. Listen. You don't know shit about shit. And if your coach title doesn't start with a sport in front of it, you're a fraud. My immediate supervisor. Medium. Psychic. Any kind, especially those who prey on people mourning the dead and convincing them they are speaking. Is being involved in an MLM considered to be a profession? Predatory tow truck drivers. The people who have to install indicators on BMWs. Influencer. Telemarketing. Pharmacy benefits manager. Internet trolls unofficially backed by political parties. Salt Bay. Assistant jizz mopper at the local adult video store. Influencer, life coach. At the Edinburgh Zoo, the penguins will track the planes as they pass overhead and fall in their backs. They employ someone to write the penguins when this happens. The entire health insurance industry. Promotional speaker. Let me tell you how I became successful charging you $10,000 to speak how I get $10,000. TV ad sales. Far overpaid, it's more of an exclusive club. Ad buyers too, just funneling corporate money into executive suites, box offices etc. In the US, the entire medical insurance industry. We pay more for insuring individuals than most countries pay to care for individuals. Beyond that, the cost-reducing policies of insurers creates a product the care itself, which is focused on saving a little now and not focused on the long-term health of the patient. So, an inherently inferior product, but at least it's expensive. Influencers Saw someone on here say that their friend races rich people's yachts for a living. Los Paul Los Hermanos owner that guy does nothing with his time and just smiles it's not even like he runs his business he's always disappearing, and going to some weird laundromat near my home. Social media influencer. All the people that help you buy a house, title guy that shows up late and just stamps things after you sign, the mortgage guy that is always behind and forgets things forcing you to sign at 10pm the night before it's due, one of the 70 inspectors that charge $1,000 have no stakes in this and miss everything the other title guy that calls you back later, etc. What is the most bullshit profession that actually exists? Bovine proctologist. Priest as a marriage counselor. Social media influencer. Wellness coach. Influencer. Payday loans. Influencer. Influencer. Psychic. Mediums. Etc. A WAWA waterboy. Reddit moderator. The jerk off at insurance companies who gets to choose if a medical procedure is covered. 
phone text email solicitations for anything. If I wanted to buy something or sell you my house I would contact you. Fuck off. Like 90 of Scrum Masters. Though see into the future people, total bullshit. Being an influencer. I would like to get influenced by people who are awesome at art, music, poetry, or some genuine talent not by people hungry for attention, doing fake reviews or being a nuisance to the public in public. Anything with NFTs, total scam. Influencer. Influencers. Influencers. Car dealerships just go DTC already and let that industry die. Influencer. I'll die on this hill. Influencer. Chiropractors. It's all BS. Farmer sales rep. Sparkling water sommelier. Lobbyist. Health insurance companies. Practice medicine telling you what you don't do need without actually being able to practice medicine. 22-year-old fresh graduates presented as management consultants. So how many successful businesses have you managed at 22 years old whilst at university? Apparently, Reddit thinks that astrologer is not a bullshit profession. Post-rapture pet sitter. Instagram influencer. Social media influencer. Pet psychic. Daffuck. Influencer. Religious leader. Chiropractors are probably one of the worst IMO. Mostly cause too many people think it's good. At least with all the other ones listed here I feel like is more obviously bullshit. Ice cream taste tester Defin not jealous of anyone with that job whatsoever. Social media influencers. Ah. Uh. Go away. Human resources. The vast majority of influencers. Influencer. 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 Middleman companies in every industry that somehow still exist. I feel like most of these companies were once useful, but now that no one needs to physically interact with customers or paperwork are completely purposeless. TikTok star. Politician. This should not be a career. It should simply be a part of one's civic duty. I said, duty. Real estate agents. I figured they would be gone by now. 